Because of implicit conversion of kind, you can't have enumerations in Go. So please, do not try to have enumerations. What drives me crazy sometimes is watching people do this. They'll start to use name types to uh, create an alias. And I don't want you using this syntax to define a user-defined type where there's an alias involved. Because people always say, you know what, Bill, I'm going to have a function. You know, I don't know, it's called something. And um, what I want to do is make sure that no matter what, um, the compiler protects me from uh, anybody ever passing in anything other than a handle, right? We start to say to this, do I have a main in here? Yeah, I have a main. Let me move this down so we can see it inside of main for a second. So imagine this. People are like, you know what I'm going to do, Bill? Foo needs to take a handle. I want compiler protections. So I'm going to define a handle based on an int. And um, what I'm going to do is make sure the compiler only lets me pass an int in. Or I mean a handle in. And so you turn around and you go, OK, let me, um, you know what? And to test this, what I'm going to do is uh, define a, uh, a handle, Bill. Or did I just delete? No, it is. All right, cool. What I'm going to do, Bill, is define a handle. And let's say var h handle, even if it's set to its zero value. And now, Bill, I'm going to call foo passing h. And um, everything works, right? Come on, internet. Work for me here. Everything works. Bill, look, I got compiler. Because, Bill, you know, if I do this, Compiler's going to say, can't use it. Look, I'm getting the compiler protections I want. People have to pass in a handle. Look, I just tried to pass in an int. And then I turn around and I do this. And it works. Why? Because 100 is of kind int. And it can be promoted to any type as long as it's compatible, which it is. So though this idea of kind promotion allows us to write really nice code in terms of literal values, what it's done is it's destroyed our ability really to have enumerations in Go. And so what I want to say to you is that if you're going to define a set of constants like colors, all right, and you're going to turn around and you're going to say, OK, Bill, I'm going to have red, and it's going to be assigned 10, and I'm going to have blue, and it's going to be assigned 20, right? Um, um, actually, it would be constants like this, sorry. I'm going to tell you to leave those as ints, because what's going to happen is your, your first instinct coming from another language is to do this. Because you want that compiler protection. And then I'm going to immediately, just to mess with you, pass in the number 30. And the compiler's not there to save you. And so I'm going to make it really clear that if I was writing this type of code here, I would not want you doing this because, again, I can bypass it, right? What I'm going to tell you is to do this. Maintain the real consistency with the type system. Color is really an integer. So ask for an int. Use the variable name to describe what we're looking for. And then on the call, we can then use red and blue, and we can validate that. It, I, I know where your head is going. It's like, well, this really sucks, Bill, because that means anybody can pass in a different value, and I have to check it. At some level, yes. But remember, there's trade-offs in every engineering decision, and this is one of them. So I don't want you creating aliases to try to get compiler protections. You're not going to get it. And it's really going to just add more code to your system than less. And, and, and it really ends up creating a mess.